and welcome back to another video this is crypto coins and in this video i'm going to show you how to buy any altcoin with a trust wallet i know a lot of people use metamask and that's a go-to wallet that people have been using but for some reason i started using trust wallet as my original altcoin uh, wallet and i just got used to it and i just like it much better it has a lot of the coin networks already implemented into the wallet so that you don't have to add different networks. It's already in the wallet, but sometimes you do have to add different coins. The coins won't come out, uh, but even on uh, MetaMask, I think you still have to add the coins. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to buy any altcoin, even if the coin doesn't exist on the trust wallet and how to buy any altcoin and add it to your trust wallet. And in this tutorial, since since I am covering a lot of Wonderland time, I'm going to do this tutorial, how to buy Wonderland time token, how to buy it, how to add it to your trust wallet and how to stake it. So this is going to be true to a lot of different coins, how to buy them from different networks, swapping them for the coin that you want, and then um, adding them to your wallet and how to add coins into your wallet that don't exist. So it's going to be a pretty thorough multi-step tutorial and hopefully by the end of this tutorial you'll be up and running with your um, trust wallet and not a lot of people use metamask it is user friendly and it is uh, implemented in chrome browsers the only downfall with the trust wallet that i've seen is that you can't add an extension to it on your web browser so you have to do everything through the phone uh, but even then i have no problem with the workarounds and i actually just like trust wallet um, just from my personal use and experience and um, so that's what I use so let's get right into it and since we are buying uh, time wonderland uh, on this tutorial we need AVAX the avalanche C chain coin so unfortunately on the trust wallet you can not buy AVAX coin so I actually buy that through my coinbase wallet so the way that we do that is um, I just open up Coinbase here and I you click on buy or transfer and you click on buy or transfer from Coinbase and then you pick your coin here AVAX that's what we want to buy uh, let's just say you want to buy $500 here of AVAX you put your amount you put continue it's going to prompt you I'm actually not going to buy this but I'm just showing you the steps there is a Coinbase fee here and a network fee and your total to buy $500 worth of AVAX. I'm not going to buy this. And then you would put, you would uh, press here buy and you would buy AVAX coin. So now the next step is transferring that coin into your trust wallet. Now, I don't recommend that you use Coinbase for a lot of your transactions because the fees are ridiculous. Uh, especially in the Ethereum network. And if you want to transfer those out of your wallet into another wallet, it's going to be painful. So um, uh, fortunately though, for this coin, it's inexpensive and I'm okay buying it because I have instant access to it, buying it through Coinbase, buying the Avalanche Network coin, AVAX, and I could instantly transfer it to my trust wallet. So once you buy it, you would press buy. I'm going to exit here. I'm not going to buy it, but we'll go through the steps. So once you have it on your wallet and um, you go to your trust wallet, so you open up your trust wallet. So in this case, if we're gonna do the Avalanche coin, AVAX, which I have 2030 here, you just click your coin here and then you press receive and it'll give you an address here to receive it. So that's how you would do that. And then you would go to your Coinbase wallet you would press send and then put this address on there. That's how you would send it. So it's not that complicated. If you're familiar with crypto, uh, you're probably already familiar with the step. Um, so that's step number one. If you don't have the AVAX coin enabled here on your trust wallet by default, you click here on the top right and you look for it here, AVAX, and you enable it here. So this is how you enable AVAX to appear in your wallet. So now I have it enabled. So now when you send it from your Coinbase to your trust wallet, it will appear here. So now that you have AVAX Avalanche Network coin in your wallet, 
Now where you want to go is to Trader Joe. That's where you will buy Time Wonderland coin. You go to this uh, website up here. It's Trader Joe XYZ.com and you press go. And then you press trade. And then by default, it shows AVAX and USDT. You want to go to scroll down here and you're going to press AVAX and here you want to type in time. And there you have it. So now in this network, you'll be able to trade Avalanche Network Coin with time. What we want to do now is connect our wallet, our trust wallet to uh, this swap here. And for us to use our trust wallet, we're going to be using Wallet Connect to do these trades and to also stake our time wonderland so you press wallet connect here you click trust here it's here it's connecting now this is very important here this is my main wallet my main ethereum wallet and this is where it could get a little finicky so now you need to indicate which wallet you want to connect to trader joe's so the avalanche network is different from the ethereum network so you click here, now your main, your main wallet is by default Ethereum, and you click on Avalanche C Chain Network. So now I'll be able to see your Avalanche coin connect. It says here, now you can go back to your browser. So now you go, so now you go back to your browser here, and you see that your balance comes out here. You have a balance there of 0 0.31458, that's what I have, 8.4 of uh, Avalanche, I could put max, that's how much it's gonna give me. You press swap and it'll tell you the fees here, minimum receive, price updated. Uh, you could accept it here if you wanna do the swap, confirm swap, uh, price updated again. And that's, and that's how you'll be swapping between uh, AVAX, Avalanche Network Coin to Time Coin. So once you press accept and it's confirmed, and this gets processed then you go back to your trust wallet by default trust wallet does not recognize uh time coin uh, time wonderland coin or token it doesn't recognize it by default so if you want to buy any altcoin that trust wallet doesn't have already implemented this is how you add it into your trust wallet to recognize so if you were to do that swap into your trust wallet it will confirm and you won't see it being reflected here. Your avalanche coin will go to zero balance if you bought all your avalanche into time. This would go to zero here and you wouldn't see your time wonderland coin and it wouldn't reflect on your wallet. So if you scroll down, I already have here at the bottom a wonderland installed, which I per, which I manually installed. I also have climb a DAO and Olympus. So these by default don't show up on your wallet. So this is how you add a coin that's not on your wallet. So you go up here to the top right, and this is the menu of coins. I already implemented, so I was able to turn it on. I added it here. I'm just gonna put a random uh, set of letters here just so that I could add a custom. So in this case, if you wanna add time, you would type in time. It's not gonna, it's gonna say exactly what it says here. No assets found, add custom token. So this is how you add any token. You click on the network. In this case, time is with the Avalanche network. Uh, so we have to look for it here. So we put Avalanche network for the contract address. So for this information, we have to put the contract contract address, the name, the symbol, and the decimals. We have to fill all this information to add it. You go here to coin gecko. This is where you get the information for the coins. So let's go to coin gecko here. You go to coingecko.com and you type in here in the search bar time. So I found it here, Time Wonderland. It's loading. So now what you want to do to get all that information, you click on show more information. The contract is right here for the Avalanche Network. So you can click on that, click to copy, and then you go back to your trust wallet and you can paste the contract address. Then here, um, it automatically filled it up for me because I've done it before. Uh, the name here, you can actually manually type it in. It automatically did it for me now, but I think only because I already have it installed. 
but you are supposed to manually put there the name and the symbol. And the name is actually Wonderland, but it auto-filled time. And then the symbol is time. And it auto-filled also the decimals, but the decimals, it doesn't do this when it's a new coin. So now to find that information, even though it filled it in now, or maybe now it recognizes the coin, so it auto-filled it. But if it doesn't, which in my case it didn't, when it's brand new, you click here where it says Explorers, you press AVAX here, and it's gonna open up this new window. So in this new window, it's gonna give you the information of time here. So here you can also copy the contract. And if you look here at the bottom right, it says decimals and it has the number nine. And that's where you get the information for the decimal. And that's all the information you'll need in order to add a new coin on your trust wallet. So you need to fill all this information, what network this coin is, the contract address, the name, the symbol, and the decimals. And you press save. Okay, it just says time. Okay, so now it just says avalanche time. But now you'll see, uh, you will see that you will, your tokens will appear now if you did the Trader Joe's transaction. So you could either do this before or after you trade the avalanche coin to uh, time on Trader Joe's. So totally optional. I actually did it afterwards. I thought my coins didn't get here. So then I looked up how to add any token into your trust wallet. So this was the finicky part. With this alone, you can add any coin. You need to know what network it is when you add it, and then you need to know the contract address, the name, the symbol, and the decimals. That's uh, important. I don't know what the decimal means, but that is uh, necessary. So now that once you have time, now you can stake it. So to stake time, this is how you would do it. Okay, so what you wanna go to is type in wonderland.money and that takes you to the Wonderland home screen. You go enter app here. Once you go to enter app, you put connect wallet. You click on trust wallet. Now it takes you here to your trust wallet automatically. Once again, this is where it gets finicky. You don't wanna make this mistake because they'll connect the wrong wallet. You'll get errors here. Uh, this is an Avalanche C chain wallet here. So make sure when you go here, you don't press Ethereum, you go to Avalanche C chain because we're trying to connect our Time Wonderland coins here. You press connect. You press connect and now it's telling me I can go back to my Chrome browser. We go back to our Chrome browser and now you are connected here. So once you are connected, right now I currently have my time stake and because I have my time stake here, it doesn't say that I have any available. So what you would do here is uh, it would tell you how much you have uh, available. You press max amount to stake, you press stake time, and it's gonna probably ask uh, if it's okay for you to stake time. You press okay, it might charge you a small avalanche fee. And then you have to click it again. You have to press max stake. Uh, I remember I had to do it twice. One is like a confirmation and I don't think it stakes. So you have to do it two times and then you stake your time. Let's go back to the wallet. Just note that once you do stake your time, once you do the Trader Joe swap from Avalanche to time, then your time token will appear here on your wallet and reflect on your wallet total here on your account. Once you stake it on their app, uh, you will have zero time here on your wallet don't don't be scared um, it takes it and it puts it on their network so it's no longer on your wallet it's connected to your wallet so that once you unstake it it will put it back into that corresponding wallet so right now it says i have zero time but in reality i do have time it's in the app and right now i currently have here your stake balances 0 0.170583 memories and memories is what it gives you once you stake time since it's not pegged to time, it's separate from time due to the logistics of the coin. But once you unstake it, it gives you back time. Memories is one to one with time. It's just a separate token. So that's pretty much how you do the whole process of how to buy any coin and add it to your trust wallet. And even if the token is not there, the coin is not on your wallet, how to add any coin make sure to go to coin gecko 
and get all the information of the contract, the name, the symbol, and the decimal. And you can add any coin that exists out there and it'll recognize it. So don't be scared if you transfer a coin and your wallet doesn't recognize it, you have to make sure that you enable the coin on your wallet so that it appears. Now I do. I did say in this, uh, the tutorial does say buy any altcoin with your trust wallet but obviously I started off with Coinbase, so that was kind of an oxymoron there. That didn't make sense. But if we do go back to our Trust Wallet, Trust Wallet is just a wallet that's efficient for you to swap between uh, different networks and coins, and I like to use. But you could buy uh, coins here if you press buy here, and it has a selection of coins you can buy here, but AVAX, AVAX is not here. Uh, and maybe you can buy your Ethereum and swap it somewhere else. And uh, let's just say you want to buy your Ethereum. They use a third party provider called MoonPay and they do charge you fees there. So that's how you would buy uh, the selected coins that are here. So depending on what you want to buy, uh, you might have to buy it through another exchange. Uh, depending on the coin you want to buy, you have to find the most efficient exchange and then transfer it over to your trust wallet. And then once it's on your trust wallet, then you can go to uh, Trader Joe's or Sushi Swap or Pancake Swap, whatever it is, the whatever altcoin you want to buy and uh, go through the process. So this was a little bit more complicated. This is as complicated as it's gotten for me uh, to buy and stake and add tokens to a wallet. I know it's kind of a lengthy tutorial, but once you understand how to, this all functions, uh, then um, you're pretty much good to go and uh, you won't have any problems in the future. And just on a side note, just like um, the difference between a trust wallet here and uh, MetaMask is that trust wallet will put all your coins from different networks here, uh, whichever coins you enable here on the same wallet. So come rockets and Kagrel are both on uh because it's ethereum based it's on the binance network avalanche is on its own network i also have polygon here so i have a few different networks here i believe this just two ethereum and avalanche network on the polygon network and uh trust wallet recognizes the different networks without you having to install them what you do have to do from time to time is if it doesn't find the coin, you search the coin up here. And if you don't find it, go to CoinGecko, get the information. You can add it and enable that and uh, you'll be good to go. Your wallet will reflect that. So that's kind of something, a perk that I do like. But just do remember when you go to the exchanges or you go to staking and you connect your wallet, make sure you press the correct wallet because if you press the wrong wallet, uh, say you connect a your, your Ethereum based network wallet into an Avalanche network wallet, you're, you're going to start getting errors. Um, and you might have to clear your web browser's catch on the history and it might create some problems. So that's pretty much something you have to be uh, aware of it gets a little finicky once you start selecting what network and what wallet that's the only thing you have to keep in mind so i hope this tutorial uh helped uh you guys to buy and have the confidence to buy any altcoin how to stake coins and uh this is you know the example was for time wonderland but this is pretty much as complicated as it gets and uh now you'll be able to pretty much Go through any other network and uh, buy whatever coin that you're seeking to invest in so if you guys did enjoy this tutorial you guys did enjoy this video please make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons down below and i really appreciate it thank you guys and i'll have more updates on my accounts and investments that i have going on here and we'll track down uh my latest dow projects I'm pretty excited about the latest DAO projects and this is pretty much why I started this whole uh, channel to track down what these APYs actually give you and what to expect as an investor. Thank you very much guys and I'll catch you guys on the next one.